Hey guys, this is Blake Calhoun. I'm shooting a new short film for the Filmic Pro contest. And so today I'm just sharing a behind the scenes look at the camera prep, the gear I'm using to shoot this movie. Pretty excited about this year's contest, not only because there's cool prizes and that kind of thing, but also great group of celebrity judges, including Sean Baker, who's well known for his iPhone film Tangerine, and of course, Steven Soderbergh. Well, he's Steven Soderbergh, but he's also shot two features with an iPhone. This is the A camera for this shoot. This is an iPhone XS Max. I've got a Moment case on it and I'm keeping it pretty bare bones. I am going to add an additional lens. This is the Moment 58 millimeter telephoto lens. So that's the main thing I'm going to shoot with with the iPhone. Pretty simple setup. It's going to be just the phone and this telephoto. One of the reasons I like to do this is the wide lens on the iPhone XS Max is an f1.8. So you put this telephoto lens on there, you have the ability to get shallow depth of field or more so than you can normally. And so this is my setup. I'm not using an anamorphic even though we're shooting a movie because I want to have longer lens looks on this project. To mount to the tripod, I'm using this. This is a B-script and I've got a quick release plate on here. It's from Kessler. So then this mounts right on my tripod. I'm using the half cage version of the B-Script. It has a whole nother section that comes over here that you can mount lenses to, but I wanna leave it open because that way I can easily access it to take this lens on and off. And then for the moving shots, I'm going to use this. This is the Freefly Movie Cinema Robot, and it's by far my favorite gimbal for a smartphone. And so this will be my main moving camera apparatus. Although I'm probably going to do a few slider dolly shots as well. When I use gimbals, I like to keep it simple. I don't usually like to put lenses on gimbals. This has a counterweight system, but I rarely ever use it. All right, so this is the second camera I'm using. It's the B camera. Yeah, you heard that right. This is the B camera. It's a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. And I've got a Rokinon Cine lens on here. I'm also going to use a Sigma. The art lens, the classic. On this camera, I have a Metabones adapter. And so it's an EF adapter. The regular mount is micro four thirds, but this adapts this mount to EF to accept EF lenses. And then I've got a wooden camera handle and a small rig cage on there. And this is just a little cheap ICANN monitor because one thing about this camera is it's hard to see this screen if you're at a weird position. It's a good screen, but it doesn't rotate or move or anything, which is, you know, kind of expected with this kind of camera. So I attach a external monitor. I don't really trust this one for focus or anything, but it's good just for framing and composition. I also have a rod system here with a quick release. That's a small rig quick release. These are wooden camera rods. And then I have a V-mount battery system. I'm using these Switronics. These are really affordable V-mount batteries. And the cool thing is you don't have to buy a charger. These just plug right into the wall. Sometimes these batteries can be affordable, but then a charger can be two or three times the cost of a battery, especially with the Anton Bauer stuff. And then I'm recording all my media to a little Samsung SSD drive. You can record to SD cards or CFast or SSD. This is the most affordable option. The CFast cards are really expensive. I've got a couple, but they're not very big, like 64 gigabyte. And so I can record a few minutes of 4K footage, especially when I'm shooting raw. 
This is a great solution. You can record a lot of media and just plug it right into your computer and you can be editing in no time. So that's it. Now it's pretty much ready to go. And last but not least, we also use this camera. It's a red weapon and it shoots 6K. I'm not going into the detailed prep on this camera. You'll have to wait and see the actual short to see how I use this in the project. And speaking of that, depending on when you're watching this video, the short is either coming soon, it's due at the end of September 2019, or if it's released, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about this gear, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.